I got some awesome free games for your VR system, so stick around. What is happening everybody, it's Paul from VR Asylum. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top 5 free games for your VR system in June 2022. These are all new games, I typically do this about every quarter part of the year, so you guys are going to get a fresh new look at what's going on with the Steam Store. These are all hidden little gems, I can promise you that. So uh, you probably haven't seen them before, but you will enjoy playing them. And they're free. Of course you, you uh, benefit from it. All right, so we're also going to be doing the contest, or finishing the contest, I should say, that we had a couple months ago for the uh, VR headset battery pack for the Oculus Quest 2. It's escaping my mind. I can't remember what the headset's called now. Plus the accessories as well too. So we'll be announcing the winner for that. So if you're in that contest, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. And even if you're not, you want to find out who won that thing, well stick around because I'm going to tell you, I promise. <laughs> All right, on to the video. Shattered Lights is a one-of-a-kind room-scale-based VR horror game which takes you on a journey down a seemingly abandoned underground medical facility armed with nothing but a flashlight and your sanity. Using non-Euclidean geometry, the game will immerse you into a world where every step you take is purely physical and you will never once have to use your controller to move around. You'll still be able to explore intricate areas, impossible geometry and any situation the shattered lights throws at you. Shattered Lights is a VR psychological horror room scale experience which focuses on drawing the player into the game with unparalleled immersion. Shattered Lights is free to play and is for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift and the Oculus Rift DK2. The Earth was invaded by the demon race again. This time they have gathered Ancient Fear's beasts. As one of the valiant warriors, you must defend them with your weapons. This is a first person perspective game. You will fight face to face and feel the shock and tension of fighting with beasts. You can choose an axe and a shield and fight against the beasts in ancient times in close combat. You can also choose Double Sword. Double Swords are the weakest, its attack range is moderate, but you can attack quickly by waving your hands. Kung Fu VR is free to play and is for the HTC Vive, the Valve Index, and the PlayStation VR. Welcome to the in this first-person VR horror game, you wake up in the middle of an empty arena with a syringe in your arm and the feeling of being watched. Take on the role of the protagonist and escape the Moonlight Circus. Unravel the mystery of the circus and its artist and get out alive. Just a quick side note, if you use the Vive, you have to change the controller mapping. For example, switching the menu button on both sides to left primary and right primary in the Steam VR settings. The Circus Moonlight is free to play and is for the Valve Index, Oculus Rift and the PSVR. Vertical Shift features four multiplayer gameplay modes. Each mode can play up to 10 players with crossplay. Freeze Tag is where you team up and work together for the fast-paced reimagining of everybody's favorite playground game. In the Premier Competitive Mode, two teams will face off for a 10-minute match. 
In the hot seat mode, players compete in a free-for-all capture and hold the hot seat. The player who holds the hot seat the longest wins. In the infectious mode, one player starts infected and hunts down all the other players. Every time a player is tagged, they join the infected. In the race mode, you swing through a series of obstacles to compete for the first across the finish line. Vertical Shift is free to play and is for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Oculus. All right, so I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. These are all little hidden gems. I promise you, you guys will enjoy them. This number one, you will really enjoy. I didn't even know it, this thing existed and it's been around for a couple of years. It is a really, really good game and it is for free. So uh, if you guys have any questions about any of these games, leave a comment down below and I will answer them. Or hey, if you just want to chat, uh, leave a comment down below and I will answer that too, okay? <laughs> All right, and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button as well too. It helps out little channels like mine compete with big channels and gets me out there and, uh, you know, helps me out. It helps me out. All right, so uh, we need to talk about who won the contest for the headset. So let's announce the winner. The winner is Mark Moore. Congratulations, Mark Moore. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your prize. He's already received it. I've communicated with him over the email and him and his son say they're enjoying it. I'm assuming they are. So if you entered that contest, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys supporting me and uh, we'll be having more. I promise, hopefully you'll win then. All right, so let's get on to number one. In the Red Stair, you become a special agent in the 1950s New York City on a stakeout. During your stakeout, you will be observing your neighbors every move to find out who of them is the communist spy. From within your apartment, you will be receiving information via your phone and fax machine, finding clues and case files, and taking pictures that you fax to your handlers, proving that your suspicions are right. It's all about observations and deductions. You'll have to use a number of different ways to identify people varying from appearances. Items that can be found in their rooms and rules only specific members of the communist ranks follow. Good luck, agent. The nation depends on you. The Red Stair is free to play and is for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Oculus.